Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Piccadilly Stamp, and I'm Pamela Pick. I'm Bill. And this is my husband, Bill, here in the background. I think you had a little silly juice tonight. Let me see if I can get us up live. Okay, so if you're new, come on in, say hello, tell us where you're from. Silly juice? What are you talking about? Hi, Mary Jo. Oh, you can see everyone. Well, it's not showing me anybody yet. Well, just Mary Jo. I just refreshed. Oh, Mary Jo is the only one. She gets her private, who gets her own private viewing. That's tonight. right. So, uh, maybe I don't have this set right. Let's see. You're good. Is it is it okay? Yeah. Okay. Am I in the center? Yeah, I, it looks to be. It looks like my camera is a little tilted, but like, uh, not too bad. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Kristen. There's Mary Jo. There's Jean. Shoot. I missed you. Hey, I'm not doing purple. Hi, Jean. Not doing purple tonight, Jean, but I did do bright purple. Hi, Cindy. I think this is gorgeous grape, isn't it? So, nail polish. Yeah. Um, I, I finally decided to quit doing all that bland color nail polish I, everyone was saying your nails are too bright you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do this and i finally decided i can do whatever i want so i'm doing uh bright purple tonight okay let's see there's beth ann there's mary ellen france hello um hi madison how are you doing hon all right, let's get going. I doesn't be sure to share this week for next week because next week I'm giving away products. <laughs> Did you like to give that up for me? Or That's what? right. We're giving away products. <laughs> I've got some products here and I'm getting kind of a buildup and I want to give some away. Okay, so before we even get going tonight, I have to share this card with you. So my friend Janelle, quite literally, in the last live that we did, Bill said, hey, send me some cards, people. And she said, Bill requested happy mail. So she sent Bill some happy mail. Thank you very much. I enjoyed it. <laughs> so stinking cute. That's that Billy Bear. That's what I call it anyway. So anyway, thanks, Janelle. He actually squealed. He's like, I got mail because I asked for it. So... I'm sure he's still taking requests. Look at your face. Well, that's right. Bill's face is sitting I'll over here mail. all red. <laughs> You'll take mail. Yep. Okay. I see Nicola hasn't sent us any cookies yet. Oh, Nick, ha is Nick on? Yes, she is. Oh, Nick, you got to send cookies. He's getting a little desperate. <laughs> Ever since you said you were eating cookies the other night. Oh, this is such a great time of year. It is celebrations is going on. Three more weeks. Yeah, we're over halfway. So um, this is the time if you want to get any of these free products from Stampin' Up, this is the time to do it. Um, let's wait. There's more things that need to happen. Let's see. We got to do our joke. And what? Our what do you get from a pampered cow, Bill? Any ideas? Some kind of cream? I don't know. Sweet cream? Spoiled milk. <laughs> <laughs> I so, was thinking sweet or something. No, sweet. it came out spoiled milk. What do you get from a pampered cow? Spoiled milk. So thank you. These are from uh, Kathy Walton. And we're just each week slowly doing one of them. Um, if you have not done this already, I'm going to just tell you again, be sure to like, comment, share. If you share this week, next week, I'm going to have a drawing for actual product prizes, new current stuff. Um, and then also, if you're watching this later on YouTube, please remember to subscribe so you get notice uh, when I upload a video. And our host code um, use this host code. This is the current one right now for all orders under $149.99. What was my reasoning for having this 
so early in the show. What's that? The host code. I don't know. You grabbed your stuff. Oh. But we need to do the drawing. Yes, the drawing is next. So, if you watched last week, we made this fun card. Where in the world would I be without you? Isn't that really pretty? Um, and then also a matching. Gee, Jean, look how purple that is. That is purple. Ooh, I should have worn this nail polish last week. Anyway, so this is really, really pretty card. It's a peekaboo. It's got that kind of. I don't want to say it's a window because I don't have a window sheet on it. But anyway, it's a peekaboo card and super cute and fun with, I don't remember the stamp set, but we have two of these and Bill loves to do the drawing each week. So this is our drawing. Now, normally, if you're new to us, I give away my cards every week. Um, two cards, we do a drawing. I mean, last week, you guys were really kind with sharing. So, Bill, do you want to draw out a couple yeah, let me... Oh, we got to reach over. Okay. Okay. Jessica Ashcroft. Je let me see. Let me put that. I don't know that name. Do you? Nope. Okay. Jessica Ashcroft. Um, thank you so much for sharing. But since I don't know who you are, where you are from, I'm, you know, I'm not familiar with your name. Please send me a message. Um, if you're watching this, if I got this off of YouTube and you shared, um, there'll be a link in my description of this video that you can go to that has my email address. Otherwise, if you're watching me right here and right now, you can go ahead and just send me your mailing and address. number two. Who's that? Cindy Howard. Oh, Cindy. She's been sharing like wildfire lately. That's I right. have. Unless you move, Cindy, I have your address, so we'll send that off to you. So thank you so much, ladies, for sharing. I do appreciate it. It helps support me to keep coming to you. Right. Okay, um, one other little announcement. It helps keep me in my lifestyle. <laughs> what lifestyle is that, Bill? The lifestyle of the rich and famous? Is that it? No. <laughs> He says, continue to share. It helps keep him in his lifestyle. <laughs> All right. So I am going to be using the cutest cows. I told you it was going to be cute. And you know I love critters. And for those of you who are Facebook friends with me, you know how much I like cows. So surely you didn't think you were just going to get one demonstration with these cows. Now, I've done it a little bit different than my original card. And I cannot wait to share that with you. What did I do with the original card? I thought I just had that out to share. I don't know. Oh, well, maybe Did I don't. Nail it? No, I don't think so. Okay, well, anyway, so cutest cows. I am going to be pairing it with the perennial postage dies for one die only, but it works so perfect in this card. So I will. Of the fun and crafty. The fun and crafty? That's right. Um, I'm also going to be pairing it with the Rock and Roll DSP. So, Rock and Roll! <laughs> this comes in black and white. And what does that make you think of, Bill? Black and white and a pop of color! That's right. So, this week's pop of color is going to be Parakeet Party. Parakeet Party! I love Ooh. this color. It is bright. It's one of our in colors from two years ago. Here's that dye from that perennial. This is the dye that we're going to be using. So, perfect. I will push this aside and move this aside. And let's get going. So, this isn't going to be a fun fold tonight. However, I've got an outstanding fun fold for next week. This will just be a simple card. I don't know if it's a seven layer salad as Bill calls it, but it's fun and it's cute and it's bright. And if it's you've got cows on it, if Ooh. you've got grandchildren, if you live on a farm, if you uh, are in a farming community, this is definitely we both grew up in Iowa. So this kind of well, Bill grew up on a dairy farm. So you're, I'm going to be using this DSP and this is cut at three and a half by um, four and three quarter. And I'm, I'm going to use this side of it. And I have a 
three and three quarter by five piece of mat. This is just basic black. So let me stick my things over here. And let's go ahead and I'm just going to use this side because it's so stinking cute. So I did not buy this rock and roll uh, set doesn't mean I won't own it yet, but I don't I don't have it now. I didn't buy the DSP I just have my share of paper share and one of the reasons why I'm even telling you what I did or didn't buy is Because I think it's important for you guys to know that if you're a part of a paper share Which by the way, I have one left if anyone needs one. Yep. I can put it in the mail tomorrow <laughs> He does put it in the mail for me um, but if you're not interested in the set, I'm showing you other ways that you can use it. And right now we're going to use it for dairy cows. I'm making dairy cows. I don't know. Did you, are dairy cows different than other cows, Bill? What do you mean? Well, I mean, I know they all have a moo, but are there specific kinds or can you, are there, no, there's can you do? there's different breeds of them, yes. Well, is like there one? Holsteins and. Well, is there one pacific? Pas mm, What's the word I'm saying? Pacific? Shorehorns. What is the word I'm saying? I'm stuck. Pacific? Specific. Specific. Oh, total dyslexic moment there. <laughs> um, is there one specific kind is what I'm getting at. Holsteins are probably the biggest. Oh, are those the ones that are just right up the road from us? The black and white ones. Oh, are they black and white? No. The ones up the road are Herefords. Those are oh, beef. Oh, Herefords. Those are beef. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, growing up in Iowa did nothing for me. I was a city girl. So <laughs> we're just going to leave that at that. Um, okay. So now I want to, let's get into some stamping. I just put the mat on the DSP and put it on our card base. So let's get into some stamping. So I have some cows here and I have the cow builder punch and I'm going to just grab some now that we have our cow history. <laughs> I don't know much about anything. I just think that those little baby cows are so stinking cute. But I found out that Mary Jo has cows so now we have to visit Mary Jo for sure. <laughs> gotta go. Gotta go see the cows. I see them from the road all the time, and I'm the one in the car, the annoying person who goes, cows, only I don't even say cows, I say moo-moos, and um, Bill kind of laughs at me, because, you know, it's not a big deal for him. Well, the cows are pointing at us going, human! That's right. Human! <laughs> they probably are. <laughs> You're funny. Okay, so I'm just, this is um, our tuxedo these are what these are not winking this one has a little wink so I'm doing two that aren't winking and one with a wink here and then I'm going to ink up a milk jug well I thought that dairy cows bill were different I thought they were only the black and white ones. So see what I know. Nope. I did not They've know. They've got tan ones and What's... soft red ones and red and white ones. And... I did not know. I just thought there was only one kind of dairy cow. Yeah. So Guernseys and Jerseys and what was... Swiss. And... Bill used to show his too. Did yep. you? Did you win an award? All kinds. Oh, how come I've never seen these awards? They're in a box downstairs. Well, maybe you should pull those out for no. me to look at. Why not? How old were you? All the way through high school. So I'm just going to color. This is the uh, basic black, I think. Yeah, it's the basic black. I'm just going to color in their heads here while we're talking. Keep talking cows. We're on a cow kick. We're on a cow kick. I wanted to get a, uh, one of those little baby cows, but Bill says no. 
It's because I don't want to have to take care of it. I just want to have one because I think they're cute. But Bill says I'd have to clean up after it and the whole nine yards. And I'm not willing to go pick up cow, out of, cow poo out of the yard. So I don't think Palmyra has a... They wouldn't allow us anyway. A city, we yeah. Can't, we can't even have chickens here. Can't have chickens? Nope. That's another thing I want, but again, I don't want to have to take care of it. I just want, I just want to have them. I'd have all kinds of animals. Okay, so I want to do, this is um, the smoky slate that I'm doing this uh, milk jug in. And I want to add just a little bit of detail, but I don't want to go in with the dark smoky slate. This is the light smoky slate. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to color it again, which will make that darker effect. You can add on layers of color. Did you know that? Yes. Of course you did. So I, I live in a crafty lifestyle. You do live in a crafty lifestyle. You're cracking me up tonight. I'm just reading what they're writing. Are they, are they picking on you? They're not picking on me. Pick on him. Pick on him. I dare you. <laughs> so then this is the dark petal pink and I'm just going to go in here and put some in their ears and on their, what is this called? The part of their nose that's at the end. What is nose. that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> their nose is called their nose. No, seriously, isn't this got a thing, a name? No, it probably has some scientific name, but it looks like a nose to me. Okay, so the nose. Good dairy farmer. The nose. The nose. Well, I thought it was like a snout or something, or I don't know. I don't know, but he can take his tongue and stick it out and clean out his nostrils with it. Ah, uh, Yeah, that's the one thing. I don't want to be licked by a cow. That was the other thing that Bill told me. He's like, they'll lick you. I'm like, what? No cow lick. Cow big, lick. Big huh? calves will suck on your fingers. Yes, they will. That I would do. Okay, so I'm just going to cut these little bodiless cows out here. Just their heads. Ugh. I get this stuff all over the place. You crack me up, Bill. What are they saying? Bill? Oh, I'm just reading somebody from Sri Lanka that's friends with France just gave us a compliment saying we like, they like my jokes. Oh, do not egg him on. <laughs> Snouts on a pig. Snouts on a pig? Okay, well, I don't know. Again, did not grow up on a farm. Okay, and then this milk jug is really that simple to cut out, so we're just going to cut it out, and then we'll be done with this part. So keep it, keep talking. Do you keep gotta, talking? Yeah, because I I got to keep working. You so got to keep working, huh? You got to keep talking. Yeah. And so then he shuts up. Oh, I shut up, yeah. I, and the thing of it is, is I can't get a word in edgewise most of the time. <laughs> and here you are, quiet as can be. There are times where well, I... Well, you know, because celebration is, sale abrasion is still going on. Oh, I like how you said it correctly. It's not celebration, it's sale. Sale abrasion. Oh, look at you yep. being all technical. Three more weeks. Three more weeks. So if there's anything that you need, get it now because you get your freebies with it. And I love that. Okay. All the way up to leap year. And leap then day. we need one of these. That's right. And I want to do the what's moo with you. What's moo with you? Sentiment. Yeah. What's moo with what's you? What's moo with you? What's moo with you? I may have to stand for this. didn't matter. I still was rocking. I'm really very unsteady today. Okay, that will be the stamping portion completed now. 
Okay, let's bring this back in. I have a piece of basic black. It is one by four and a quarter. And I'm gonna go ahead and just do a belly band on the card. Even though it doesn't go all the way around, it gives that effect. Um, so I got a topic for you guys. Who's voting or rooting for the eat uh the I almost said eagles that was <laughs> last year? <laughs> Um, um the, Chiefs. For the Chiefs and or the, the 49ers because we are um totally I'm being told that I'm cheering for the Chiefs yeah you are you're gonna listen to me too uh, we live in Missouri now you have to oh okay <laughs> um but Here's the thing. So I just put this little belly band on, and now I have a piece of basic black 3x3. Three three. And what I want to do is take these pieces, these four pieces, and angle them on here so that they fit together in the middle. And it is almost easier with this, at least in my opinion, if you kind of concentrate. So I'm going to let you guys talk about it. So 49ers... Um, we are big fans of the 49ers. Bill has been following them for, unless it's up against my pack, then there's nobody in this household. That's right. Packers come first in my book. But um, Bill's been following Brock Purdy since when, Bill? 2018 when he was a freshman at Iowa State. I'm wanting to know how many ladies out there are rolling their eyes that we're talking about football on a crafting show. For Nicola, that's American football. Yeah, it's not soccer. It's not footy. Isn't that what they call it over there? Footy? I don't know. But, um, and then, and they have Purdy and Chiefs, Kittle. Chiefs, Kittle. Iowa State. Yeah. But Chiefs has always been, after the pack, my second favorite team i have to stay true to the midwest what can i say so you see how i'm lining this up while i'm doing this may not know anything on a farm but you know how to line up that piece of paper i am a midwest girl so i'm gonna root for midwest team you're funny bill you're really funny <laughs> i heard you Oh, okay. So what? who's getting more? 49ers? I don't or... know. I've lost count. Oh. Detroit Lions? Wait, they're not in there. Detroit Lions? <laughs> hey, they had a really they good really year. They had a really good season, yeah. They had a really good year this year. They got some Iowa boys on that, on that team, too, don't they? Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Okay, so now I've got my little postage stamp all lined up. Now let's get out some dimensionals. So that's really just one layer right there. Well, it's two. There's well, two yes, layers. But the stamps are one. And then there's a layer here and two layers there and a layer there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going for seven. Okay. So let's see. I want to do this one with a little wink, which is what I'm considering the little female cow. And then this. They're all female cows. No, this is a bull. Oh. I've decided. <laughs> and I just make the rules. You make the rules. He's a bull. <laughs> it's just like I tell you. That's right. <laughs> Voting. We're rooting for the Chiefs. Right? We're rooting for the Chiefs, and that's all there is to it. <laughs> I really don't care in this one. They're both really good teams. There was some really good... Did anyone anyone hear Packers fan, or am I kind oh, yeah, of a lone duck? Packers, you know, they, some come through. Somebody that's a right. Fan. A who? <gasps> that is the only thing that I do not find acceptable. <laughs> and it wasn't Gwen. And it wasn't Gwen? Oh, well, then I guess I can't be too particular. I only say that when it's Gwen. Okay, so I've got this on. I'm going to add a few more dimensionals here. Well, France's sport's getting ready to start. What's that? NASCAR. 
Oh, that's Billy used to be in that until I told him he's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not the truth. I don't say that to him. No, he he followed it for a while. Do you ever watch baseball? Sometimes. Bill was a football player in college and in high school, and then he decided eventually he wanted his knees, so he decided to get out of it. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the inside. Normally I do the DSP. I'm not doing the DSP this time. You guys see this coming? Black, white, pop color. You could do any color. You want to make this for a grandchild. This, this green is kind of unisex, but if you want to make it for a kid, you can do their favorite color. Any color would be good. If you want to do it for a neighbor, any color would be good. This thing is cute. Okay, then we're going to take this one. We're not popping this one up, though. We're just going to glue it on right here. And so we've got a little one for the inside. Isn't it cute? It's cute so far. It is. So I stinking adorable. And we've had just a lovely conversation. Now, what did I do? So this is the uh, Ribbon Duo Combo Pack. And it has the Parakeet Party in it. And since this one I determined, I just kind of topsy-turvied and put those on there. I determined that this one was the little girl one. The cow, right? Because a bull is... Yes. A boy, right? That's right. B boy. Bull boy, B boy. Is that it? Yeah. Got it. Okay. I may not be from a farm, but I definitely knew that if you were trying to think that I didn't. So we'll just attach this. That's why I put that one um, down below. Now this came from that perennial postage that was the die and I think people think that's so small how would I use that hello right there there you go inspiration for those of you who have this set now you have another idea of how to use that same with the paper. So let's just put that right there. Now we need to get a little sparkle on here, don't you think? Yeah. What, Winka? Oh, we could do Winka. I wasn't planning on doing Winka. Okay. Okay. I like how, do you like how he calls it? It's not a clear Winka Stella. It's Winka. Winka. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay. So you would think I would probably be going for gold or maybe even the blue because that goes with it. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to do the pink. So with my take your pick tool, and let's do some heavy, heavy coverage of this. Let's do, let's see, one there and one there. Actually, let's do, let's do five on this card. And we'll go one big one here. And one. You have a question. Give me a chance. Yeah, what's the what's question? What's the set called? The die set? The die set was from the perennial postage. It does have this sentiment set that comes with it. It has several different sizes of these, but I use the very smallest one here, so it looks like a postage stamp. And that's what I used on this. And then the cutest cows is a bundle. And it comes with the cow builder punch and this really cute cow set. And the last time I did kind of a gingham thing and I did the cows and I made a whole little scene and stuff. So I wanted to do something different with this using some different um, materials and things that don't necessarily, you wouldn't necessarily think black, white, and a pop of color with a cow, because you guys know I can get kind of crazy on that. But seriously, this is stinking cute. If you have kids, if you know a neighbor or something that you just want to say, hey, what's moo with you? I mean, this 
you know, and then you could use DSP and do the envelope to match. I definitely think that that's a good thing to do. And you wouldn't even need to necessarily, let me just show you. So I do have more of this, but it's not necessarily going the direction that I want. But you wouldn't necessarily have to even do that. You could take another piece of DSP like this one. Let's just do it. Ugh. This will match just fine on this. So I can go ahead and, oh my gosh, I'm getting too much clutter again. I cut it about two and a half when I'm doing these. So let's just cut this off. And take your envelope and then glue around here. And all of this stuff that I've shown tonight is available on my store. And as Bill was saying earlier, I wouldn't probably do this side, but this side is fine. He would like you to go ahead and take a visit if there's anything you can use at my store so that I can keep him in the comfort lifestyle that he has become accustomed to. Is that crafty what, lifestyle. Is that what you were <laughs> saying? <That's right. laughs> Sometimes I was um, in his craft room tonight. I was sanding. I've got a desk that we're refinishing. We found, interesting little fact, we found on the back of one of the drawers we were going to refinish this thing. Now, this was given to me. Um, it's a long story, but anyway, this little desk was given to me. It was in bad shape, painted a dark brown color, and I want, in here, I want white. So we're going to paint it white, and we've got um, teal paint for the drawers. But we found on the back of the um, drawer... It was a tag, it's handwritten and in cursive, and it uh, says, bought at a garage sale in 1978. Is that what it was? Yep, 1978 for $7. For $7. No wonder that thing, it has stood the test of time because that thing was sturdy. And I was super excited when I found that. I told Bill not to um, take it off because to me that had just some, I don't know, nostalgic value so see you can even use a different piece of dsp than what you used on the card and you still get a little pop of shimmer and cute little cows this would be great for a grandson or like i said just about anybody because who doesn't love cows right so um i named those were there any other questions bill no if you're going to order anything, please use my host code. It puts you into um, my perks rewards. If it's anything over $35, you start accru accumulating rewards to earn money back. Like and share. Now, next week, I'm not going to be giving these cards away. I'm going to be giving product away. So we if you, got product. If you haven't shared, you need to because I've got some free product. I've got a stamp pack for any order over $80 before tax and shipping using this host code. I will send you this free stamp pack for cards to make yourself. You can have any stamp set you want to go along with it. Um, and you get, plus you earn two perks rewards off of it. So this is a very good deal right now. And also if it's 80, you're going to earn at least one celebration item. So this is a really good time to take advantage of this. And I have one paper share left. So That's if right, you're get in the mail tomorrow, <laughs> it's $45 that includes the shipping and everything. And I can get that right out to you. Like he said tomorrow. So if you're interested, we've got one share left that we're trying to get rid of. If you don't know what a paper share is, I will just show you really quick. So tonight I use this rock and roll paper. What I do is I take all the papers out of the back of this book, and there's eight, and I cut them in half, so 12 by 
um, six, and then I mail them to you. I cut them in half and then I divide them by quarter. So you get a quarter pack of every piece of DSP in this catalog. So if that's something that's interested, interesting to you, let me know through an email or a text message here. I'll be up for another hour tonight. But other than that, were there any questions? No. Okay. Well, you guys have a great night. I do want to let you know one other piece for those who stuck around. I am probably going to do an impromptu live tomorrow. I'm going to be back on Friday for my, <clears throat> my Piccadilly Parfait, but there's just too many cards that I want to demonstrate. I have no idea what time I'm going to go live. Don't worry about being available if you're it'll probably be late morning early afternoon if you're available you're available if not that's okay because um they're recorded and i will also put it on youtube so i am going to be uh thursday and friday this week friday will be at four though on so the YouTube. yes it will be on youtube Take uh, care, everyone. <laughs> Have a great evening, and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.